Hey guys, welcome to a video here on my channel. So I had a huge problem with this during Hurricane Milton, and that is that this dual fuel generator, 10,000 watts, when I needed it, it would not start on gasoline. Now it would start on propane, like just totally fine, but there's nothing we could do to get this thing to run on gasoline. And well, these things go through propane pretty damn fast. So that was a problem. So, uh, and I'm out of breath here because I've been trying to start this and fix it. So let's cut to the chase here. I do have a fix, okay? And I will get to how I fixed it. And uh, as always, the problem is usually more simple than it is complicated. But I went as far as to pull the original carburetor, this dual fuel carburetor, which worked fine on propane, did not work on gas, okay? So I ordered another carburetor that I just installed, um, another triple fuel. This is a triple fuel carburetor. And guess what? When I put it in, I got all the pieces together. It still would not run on damn gas, but I did have a little clue. And that is, see this one has it too. On this little, on the side here that has a little solenoid. And I think if I'm not mistaken, that um, shuts off the gasoline supply with with a 12 volt signal that goes through these wires and this new um carburetor also has one of those okay it hooks up right here and when i was hooking this all together and i plugged that in i heard it clicking so that gave me a clue as to what was happening here let me shut the fuel off while i talk okay so like I said, I've been out here just like burning calories trying to get this thing started. And then it dawned on me, what if it's a little solenoid? So I unplugged these wires. These are just loose and it worked. So that makes me think that maybe I wasted my time pulling this carb and maybe both carbs work. So anyways, if you guys are in a pinch, and you have one of these big generators and it just will not start on gas and will only run on propane. Don't do what I did and spend two weeks working on this. And especially if you get a hurricane around the corner or if you're experiencing power loss, just pull the damn wires <laughs> just like I did. And I guess what that does is just leaves the solenoid in the open position so that fuel goes in. Um, getting fuel out of this carb is a much, much smaller problem than uh whether or not anyways i'm not going to go into a whole speech about it just pull the damn wires for the solenoid and it should work just fine i really hope that this video helps somebody um i know we all use generators usually when there's an emergency and when there's an emergency is not a time to be fiddling around with this thing so thank you guys very much for watching if this helped please give a thumbs up like this video subscribe and uh well, here, I'm going to I'm going to turn I'm going to put my phone down and turn it on so you guys can see it running. All right, so check it out. It's running